So I'm back in the shop and for the first time in a long time I'm using my lathe again and even more special is that I'm using it for turning metal and not for wood. My lathe that I have here is a Swiss made combination lathe mainly set up for metal but I use it for wood turning most of the time. But as I said, it has been a long time and now I needed to turn some metal. Well, it's not really metal turning per se, but I needed to drill a central hole in a cylindrical piece of mild steel. So I'm using the lathe for that. So I'm in the middle of making an armature for an artwork made by a local ceramic artist. Uh, is this one right here. So it's meant to be hung upright about 30 centimeters above a base and there's a second piece that attaches via these holes and hangs below it while there are two holes at the top as well and these holes I'm using for my armature to keep this art piece up. So I welded up the armature that works to hold the art piece and because I want to secure it to a metal base using a screw I'm now turning a central hole using the lathe and the drill chuck in the tailstock. So I just drilled this using uh, this great drill and tapping set I got from my previous employer. I just drilled with a 3.3 millimeter drill and right now I'm gonna cut the threads using this M4 thread cutter. I'm going to use some of this thread cutting oil. I'm gonna back out once to clear out some of the chips. Apply a little more lubrication. Go right back at it. All right, so here's our screw. This should work. These are two 3mm mild steel plates that will be glued together and form the base of the armature. I marked a center punched two holes, two points where I will drill a hole and I will drill those out right now using a 4mm drill bit that I will give a quick sharpen on the bench grinder. My bench grinder is set up on the floor here because I don't have a table for it and I have only one three-phase plug on this wall right here. So I'm just gonna eyeball a quick angle for this drill. I have a cup of water here to keep it cool and 
Let's give it a quick touch up. It's not the best, but it's better than what it was. Let's give this one some oil. This one needs a 10 millimeter hole. So we have a four millimeter hole right now. I'm gonna drill with seven and finally with 10. Giving it a quick deep burr. This is the hole for the four for the M4 bolt. And right now we need to create this countersink. Now, there it's pretty much flush. I think now it's well below the surface. So this plate with a 10 millimeter hole should fit over this. 10 millimeter cylinder, this 10 millimeter diameter shaft. Yeah, I think we're definitely there if we turn the screw ahead. So let's take this out of the lathe. go. Now that that's done we can give it a quick test assembly. So we got the bottom plate which is a bit smaller with a four millimeter hole countersunk to receive the screw head. Over that comes the bigger base plate. These two will be glued together using metal to metal epoxy. And then the armature will come right here. So the screw pretty much bottoms out with about one centimeter of thread sticking out. So I'm gonna shorten the screw with about a centimeter. That should be enough. Now let's give it a test assembly. There you go. Nice and solid connection. This plate will be glued together. Nice joint. So here we go, this is what the armature looks like right now. Base plate. Clean joint. And the forks that hold the R piece. Let's try and install it. Nice and secure. It 
So a second piece of this artwork will hang here. The base will get painted black. Alright, so here is the armature. Now all that's left is to clean it up, prep it and paint it. I'm gonna clean up the surfaces using this medium scotch bright flat disc, clean off all the scale um, and prepare them for gluing and painting. Let's center it first a little bit. So we're back. I took the clamps off the armature. So let's see what it looks like all assembled and prepped for paint. I made this improvisational painting booth. And here we have the armature ready for a final degrease and its first paint layer. Final degreasing with some acetone. I shook the paint before already. So yeah, let's go. Now let's let this dry 
leave my atelier so there's not any dust flying around. All right, we got our first layer of paint on here. I flipped it over, I'm gonna degrease the underside and give it a paint layer and then put it down on some screws and give the top side a second coat of paint. I extended a few spots on the top sides where there were some dust particles um, and some ridges so it's nice and smooth and now it's ready to receive a second layer. Turning it around right now so I get the back side fully covered. All right, now let's leave this be and not disturb any dust from the floor. So here we have the finished armature, the paint is nice and even, it's nice and matte and I'm ready to finally mount the piece of artwork on it and present it to the client tomorrow. So let's go ahead and mount the art piece on the armature. <laughs> 